Hey, good morning. Let's go over today's trade plan. So in the overnight session, we saw that ES made yet another all-time high. And uh, after that, it started balancing within a range. Now, given that today is a holiday and the bond market is closed, volumes are really light, I don't think there's going to be much of an opportunity on the day time frame today, especially beyond the first two hours. Um, so in a market like this, you want to be very selective if you're trading it at all. Uh, personally, I think given the really light volume, given the fact that bonds are closed and volume is extremely light, it's a U.S. holiday, I don't think it's really worthwhile to even trade today because uh, the reward potential is simply not there. And you're still going to have to use uh, you know, pretty much the same size stop that you would normally use, but on the upside, the reward potential is really not there. Um, now, you know, of course, there could still be a little bit of movement in the first one to two hours, but beyond that, typically the market will just balance and... Uh, really start chopping in a very narrow range after the first hour or so. So, you know, in a market like this, if we get a pullback down to 32 half or 28 half to 30 half, that can provide a tradable reaction. Um, it can take a while to play out um, because of the lighter volume. But, uh, you know, those are the key support areas heading into today. 34 to 35 is really the aggressive spot where buyers can enter and, you uh, you know, it's certainly not conservative trade location. On the upside, 39 to 41 can actually cap the upside, and uh, the market can just remain balanced within a range. In the event of a move above 41, uh, the next level is 44, and um, a move up to 46 quarter or 48 quarter would be a range extreme on the day time frame today. So most likely, we're not going to break above 39 to 41 today, and in the you know on the downside, we're probably not going to break below. Uh, 28 half to 30 half. So, you know, the conservative trade today would be to wait for a range extension into 32 half or 28 half to 30 half, and that could be a potential fade setup. And uh, again, that's even if, uh, you know, you're trading today because the way this market is setting up right now and um, the fact that it's a U.S. holiday, personally, I don't think it's really worthwhile to put on risk in a market like this. And if you are going to put risk on, then do it at, you know, the really conservative spot, which would be 28 half to 30 half. At that point, the market would be really extended um, on the day time frame, probably exhausting the range into that zone. And it's unlikely that we're going to get a breakdown, um, you know, on a day like today. So 28 half to 30 half can be a really good fade setup. Um, even a little bit ahead of that, 31 would still be okay. And on the upside, uh, 39 to 41 is likely to cap the upside, but because the larger time frames are bullish and overall the market is making all-time highs, um, you know we don't really want to be active on the short side. The focus is going to be on the long side, and the conservative setup is going to be to buy a pullback into support if we even get a deep pullback and uh, you know the market gets exhausted on the downside. So those are main ideas. Uh, again, you know, keep an eye on volume uh, and, uh, you know, just the first two hours. And if something sets up, fine. If not, skip it. The reward potential is really not there in the market right now. So, uh, you know, probably best to just wait and sit this one out and just prepare for, uh, you know, the remainder of the week. So those are our thoughts heading into the open. Let's see, uh, you know, how well the buy side holds it up. 32 half, 28 half to 30 half key areas today. And we'll take it from there.